What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to walk you through setting up a website using the Nginx web server software. Um, we're going to use DigitalOcean as our hosting provider and we're going to spin up a droplet. We're going to install Nginx and then we're going to stand up an actual website using it, using Nginx. Um, just a very basic example, but I'm going to show you how to do it start to finish. And it's actually, it's actually a pretty easy task. Um, so let's get started here by creating a new droplet. Um, for this example, I'm going to use Ubuntu. That's what I tend to lean towards um, for my actual um, use cases. We'll do the cheap one here. Do New York 2, that's fine. We're not going to do any uh, additional options and we're not going to set up the SSH key. One droplet. Let's call this Nginx Tutorial. Let's go ahead and create this. Should be pretty quick. Cool. We're ready to change the world. Um, so DigitalOcean emails you your credentials. So I'm going to pull those up real quick and we're going to SSH into our box. Okay, so I got my login credentials from DigitalOcean via email. Uh, so let's open up a terminal. I'm using the native Mac. Uh, terminal and we're going to SSH into our new box that we just spun up. So it's going to be SSH root at IP address. Yes. We're going to pass it the password that we just got. It's going to prompt us to change that. So we're going to enter the current again. We are going to enter a new one. And we are in. And this is our Ubuntu OS box that DigitalOcean uh, just spun up for us. Um, so there's not much here. Um, yeah, so by default, um, you know, there's no web server uh, software. So there's no Apache, there's no Nginx, there's no Tomcat, there's no way to um, set up a website. So if you are looking to set up a website on your DigitalOcean uh, hosting box, um, you need to install web server software. I'm a big, big fan of Nginx. I uh, used Apache for several years. I like the markup for Nginx better. I like the way it handles um, proxying traffic, reverse proxy. I like how it handles SSL. Um, I like how it handles uh, the paths, um, caching and things like that. Um, so yeah, um, I tend to use Nginx. But um, all right, so let's set that up. Uh, you know, initially we want to run apt get update, which just updates the the list for the package manager. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And then the next command is just install nginx. Yes. All right, they say it's installed. Um, I wonder, so I don't know if when you install Nginx, if it um, turns on a server immediately. So I'm gonna just check something real quick. If I do curl localhost, yeah. So right when you install Nginx, um, 
it actually starts the server too. That's part of the install command, it seems, because I just curled localhost, this IP, and um, and I got, um, welcome to Nginx, I'll show you. So if I go to the IP publicly, I'm actually going to get a web page now. Um, yeah, welcome to Nginx. Now, I should have shown you guys this before we installed Nginx. You would have gotten a page cannot be found um, error. But now that we installed Nginx, we immediately, immediately have this. So that's really as easy as it gets. Um, now, you might be asking yourself, well, where is all this stuff? You know, how does it, like, where is this web page? Um, if we look at the source, yeah, like, the server is responding with what looks like a static HTML page. Where is that? So I'll, I'll do a little cursory investigation and I'll show you guys how that works. So if we go to our main directory here and we go to etc nginx, let's list out here. There is a directory called sites enabled. We go into there and this is kind of like our it's it's our server setup um, yeah it's our server setup file essentially there is a nginx comp file which is kind of like a global server setup but this default file is our primary server setup file so if I vim into it um, it shows you guys what's going on here we have a server block that's listening on port 80 and it's shooting the user over to this HTML folder which then looks for um, an array of, uh, of uh, possible names for the index file. Um, if it can't find it, it will send a 404. Let's see if there's anything else going on here. And they give you a bunch of commented out stuff that you could use for like SSL and stuff. Um, yeah, there's nothing else. So there's no, um, there's no 443 server. So if I did HTTPS, nothing. Now I wonder if I could turn that on real quick for you guys. Um, oh well, you know what? We don't have a we don't have a certificate, so um, I think uh, that might be problematic. But um, it's it's really easy to search, to turn on in um, in Nginx. I mean, they already have it set up for you here. You just have to uncomment these lines, and then you just want to point to your cert. Uh, we don't have a cert, so I'm not going to go through that whole process here. But it's it's super easy. Um, and um, so this is your primary kind of like server configuration. It uses this YAML syntax, this YAML markup. Um, so you might be asking, okay, well, where is the where's the HTML file? Well, it shows you right here, and you can change this. You can put that anywhere you want. But so it's user share nginx HTML. So let me just show that to you guys. user share nginx html and we should have yeah our html files right in there so if i go in here and i change this line nginx tutorial exclamation point let's save that let's reload this let's say ssl let's reload standard um, oh yeah we're in view source um, <clears throat> that should have gotten propagated let me see here nope oh nginx uh, um, could be a caching issue let me cache bus this yep all right so um, so you can see I just modified that HTML file, Nginx tutorial. Um, so, so you know, servers can do different things. Um, typically by default, though, you have <clears throat> what we call a static file directory server, which means, um, you know, you put some sort of path in here and um, the, the server tries to um, find the the asset that that lies at that path so right now what we're actually doing is index.html um, but you know you could ha you could set up some other page here so I think if I did um, if I just copied the index file um, and called it 
new.html, and then let's change this file so we can, I think it'll serve it up for us because I think what we have here is an Nginx static file directory server. So new file. So you guys see what I just did there. I just created a new file called new and it has a slightly different headline. So let's check that out here. Yeah, so it pulls up our, our new file. So this is yeah static file, um, static directory file server. Um, so it's pretty, you know, you can imagine how straightforward it is um, to start creating your website. Um, you know, really, really pretty easy to do. Um, yeah, and that's that's really the beginnings of uh, of getting started with uh, with Nginx.